So it looks like the Yankees are starting to heat up again, taking two out of three from the Kansas City Royals before heading out to Fenway Park in Boston. Um, Jamison Tyon had you know uh, his best start, probably one of his two best starts all season, went six and a third, and uh, only gave up five hits and one on a run, two, two walks, six strikeouts. So all in all, it was one of his better performances. And Nestor Cortez finished it out with two and two thirds. The mustache, Magnum P.I. Uh, on the offensive side, I mean, it was a pretty good day for the Yankees overall. Judge had three hits, including a home run in the first. Odor, you know, drove in a couple as well with a base hit. Um, Judge also got an RBI hit later on. And Luke Voigt on the point again with another home run. Gary Sanchez, another home run. And Giancarlo Stanton, three hits. So all in all, it was a good overall offensive performance by the Yankees. It's still, you know, and that was like essentially the top five of the lineup is what performed today. But we still need a more balanced approach from the team. And, you know, if they keep heating up like this, now, you know, Let's see what kind of momentum they're able to keep heading into Boston now. So whether they can contain it or whether it's going to get, you know, stopped and blunted. So that remains to be seen. We'll see how our how our guys do. But it was all in all a, a good series against the Royals. They should have won this series. It would have been nice if they swept the series, but because it was a winnable game, and uh, so they should have essentially swept it. But they did win it two games to one. So I'll take that. And, you know, and again, a more balanced offensive approach today, a good performance by a starting pitcher who went, you know, into the seventh inning, which doesn't really happen very often with the exception of Garrett Cole. So I'll take that as well. And, um, you know, and I still, you know, and I, if you haven't seen my recent video this morning, I put out one, uh, three, you know, three moves the Yankees can make or should make uh, or with these three moves, the Yankees essentially write this ship and kind of set themselves up for a nice postseason run and for the following season or a couple of seasons. So take a look at that one. It's the first one in the description down below if you haven't yet. And give me your insight on that too. I want to know what your feedback is. But a good performance overall. But, you know, we need more consistency. We need Glaber Torres to start playing well. And some of the other guys start playing well. I mean, DJ LeMahieu's kind of picked things up a bit, so that's good. And hopefully it continues that trend. You know, Brett Gardner still leaving a lot to be desired, but he made a, he made a nice defensive play to end the game. So I'll take that as well. But, and, you know, Odor, I mean, we don't have many lefties, but Odor is one of them, and he's been, you know, pretty productive. So I would keep him in there as often as possible. And um, to give them a lefty in, in, until they decide to either acquire one or whatever they're going to do, and um, which I think they should acquire one or acquire a switch hitter. That gives them another lefty option. But we'll see. But in the meantime, I would be keeping Odor in there because he keeps producing for the most part. So, and he's coming up with clutch hits. He had a big clutch home run yesterday. Had some more, you know, another hit today. So, you know, he's been pleasantly surprising. And the batting average isn't super high. It's not sexy, but it doesn't matter. He, he's, you know, he's hitting in, he's hitting the ball when he needed to be hit. So, coming through for the Yankees more often than not. So, I'll take that. But that's the recap. A 7-1 to win. I wanted to keep it simple. A good win for the Yankees. Good pitching. Good offense. Balanced approach, which is good. And, uh, you know, giving them a good, some good vibes and good momentum heading into Boston. So we'll see how they do there. And, you know, I, hope, I think Cole takes the hill in Boston as well because he pitched the first game of this series, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, so they'll, we'll see him in Boston as well as some, some of our other guys. And, you know, uh, I mean, it looks like Luis Severino's making progress on in, in his return. He was doing full sprints today and out in the field. So he's making progress from his groin injury and his return from eventual Tommy John surgery. So that looked that was a good encouraging sign. And, you know, O'Day, Darren O'Day and Justin Wilson are just, you know, steps away from coming back into the bullpen. And at this point, I think they could use some reinforcements at the major league level. So that's coming soon, too. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you next time.